our founders believed in property rights, including intellectual property rights. So under the Innovation Act, Thomas Edison would be considered a patent troll. And I think that's to the detriment of our society and our economy. In many ways, innovation and restraint are two sides of the same coin, that you cannot have real innovation without judicial restraint. The Innovation Act is broad overreach. It takes a relatively small problem and turns it into a vast piece of legislation that will have the effect of dampening the innovative spirit and, like most overreaching legislation, it will also have the effect of giving an advantage to large companies and putting individual entrepreneurs at a disadvantage.